there's good news for some consumers keeping a close eye on their credit scores. Specific negative information will soon be removed from credit reports, boosting the credit scores, also known as FICO scores, of roughly 12 million U.S. consumers. Here with all the details is WSJ reporter Anna Maria Andriotis. Anna Maria, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be with you. I guess this is a bit of good news for a lot of people looking to buy a car or a home. It certainly will help them with that. Tell us exactly what negative information is going to be removed from credit scores. So tax liens and civil judgments um, in cases where the credit bureaus don't have enough information to absolutely verify that those records are actually belonging to the people right. that they claim to be. So, so tax liens and civil judgments. Right. Okay. Right. And so the points that they're looking for is making sure that these records have not only the name and address of the person accurate, but that also have either the social security number or the date of birth. And this is the real sticking point because many of these records actually don't have all of these points, which is why we're going to see these records removed from a lot of people's credit reports. Now, won't that lead to a lot of people who are perhaps not so credit worthy appearing as if they are more credit worthy than they should be? Totally. <laughs> yes, yes. So um, what this means is Technically speaking, it is good news for those consumers because while they would have appeared riskier to lenders, they now might not because right. the information starting around the summer will be removed from their credit reports. And it also spells some, poses some risks for lenders. Right. So starting July 1st, is that correct? It's around there. Around. There's not an exact date, but we're told around July 1st. Now, what is leading to this rather unusual move on the part of the credit reporting companies? Well, what's certain is that regulatory pressure on these firms has been increasing in recent years. And earlier this month, the CFPB actually put out a report citing a whole host of issues that it found with credit bureaus in general. Um, and it included this particular issue of public records data and the need to make sure the information identifying consumers is accurate. Right. Well, it is certainly true, I think most people can attest to this, that credit reports are not always accurate. Most Correct. people do have Correct. errors on their yes. credit reports. There, right? there are a lot of people do have errors on their credit reports that has been based on studies that have been published um, previously, and that's something that the CFPB is looking into. So, to be fair, it's not like people are necessarily just getting a free pass. Right. Right. There are mistakes being made on the part right. of credit reporting companies, right. for sure. Now, of course, this is putting a heavier burden on the credit reporting companies. Will they, do you think that, I guess the lenders are the ones who ultimately could lose out here. Do you think they could ask for any changes? Um, the lenders are ultimately at risk because they'll be looking, they always look at credit reports to make decisions, right? right. And if information that is negative suddenly isn't there, that's a possible problem. Sure. There are other ways that lenders will be able to get this data on their own, mm -hmm. but suddenly the credit report that has been the most reliable form of determining someone's creditworthiness um, might be missing some key points. I'm sure the lenders will find out those ways, whatever they are. Now, what is the average amount that someone affected by these new changes could see their credit score rise? Okay, so for about just under 11 million people, mm -hmm. we're talking about an increase of less than 20 points. Um, for about 700,000 people, we're talking about an increase that's beyond uh, like about 40 points. So that's significant. That's significant because that means that, that, I mean, that could be the difference between getting approved or denied for sure. credit. Absolutely. All right. Anna Maria Andriotis, thank you so much for that. Thank you.